Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to use the new Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But the first thing I always do is prime my eyelids and I use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is my current favorite eyelid primer. If you have very dry skin, I will recommend the Smashbox Eyelid Primer, which is a little bit less dry. Then I set my eyelid with some powder and then I'm going to apply some brow gel because I always do this after applying powder because I don't want any powder to get in my brow. Then I apply some eyeshadow guards, which I will link down in the description bar where you can get them. I sell them on my own website. And then it's time to use this palette. I was really excited to try this and I'm starting with the shade Orange Soda. When I was in LA last year, I got the honor to play with this palette as one of the first people. Uh, back then the palette wasn't even in its original packaging and also there weren't names so when I was filming with them I had to say like numbers instead of names because it was that new that it didn't have names at all. So I blended it in my crease then I'm going in with the burnt orange eyeshadow and I'm going to blend it in my crease as well. I'm just going to slowly build up with using more darker and darker shades. The brush that I'm using is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the number A25. Then I'm going to make it even more darker using the Sienna eyeshadow, blending this in my crease as well. First focusing a bit more in my outer V because this is quite a darker shade. So I first want as much product as possible in my outer V and then with whatever is left of my brush I'm going to focus a bit more towards my crease. Then I'm going back in with the orange soda eyeshadow, blending this a bit around the edges to make sure that everything is well blended out. Then I'm going in with the mulberry eyeshadow and I'm going to pick up a tinier brush which is the Morphe M506. This is just a very tiny blending brush which I really like to use whenever I use a cut crease. Not when I use a cut crease, when I create a cut crease. So I'm blending this in my crease and focusing a bit more lower. Then I'm going back in with the Sienna eyeshadow, blending this around the edges using a Sigma, a F Sigma E45 brush. I'm <laughs> blending this around the edges. Then to darken it up, I'm going in with the Noir eyeshadow, which is a matte black shade, using a very tiny brush from Suiva. I'm just going to create a line, but I'm not going all the way to like the other side of my eyelid. I'm just going to focus a bit like at the outer end and blending it softly towards the middle part. Then to blend it out I'm going back in with the Mulberry eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend this around the edges to make sure that the black isn't as harsh anymore. And for this I'm using that same Morphe M506 brush again. This is definitely a brush that I would recommend. It's so nice, so soft. And it just comes in so handy when you have to blend something but need to be a bit more precise. You know, some brushes are very big and that's sometimes harder to work with. Then I'm going to apply some concealer all over my eyelid using a brush from MAC. And I believe this is a original lip brush. I'm not quite sure, but I really like to use a synthetic brush, which is very small. And I applied this all over my eyelid. Then I'm going in with the Tempera eyeshadow pressing this at the beginning part of my eyelid and like I'm applying a very tiny amount like only in the inner corner. Then next to that I'm going to use the glistening eyeshadow which is such a pretty color. It's like a very soft golden shade which I think is so pretty for spring and summer and applying this at the beginning part of my eyelid as well. Then next to that I'm going to use the rose pink shade applying this right next to it and also slightly on top of it just to make sure that the shades blend into each other. And the brush that I'm using for this is the MAC 242. I'm just going to slowly build up the color by going back in a few times to get more pigmentation. Then in the middle part next to that I'm going to use the Sultry eyeshadow and I'm going to softly press this with that same brush. Um, I feel like this is a shade that looks really different in the palette. That once you swatch it, it's much darker. I really hoped it was more on the pink side, but unfortunately it's more of a brown with a sort of pink undertone. 
So then next to that I'm going back in with the Mulberry eyeshadow, blending this a little bit around the edges. I want a sort of ombre from shimmery to matte. And then at the outer end I'm also going to use the Noir eyeshadow to darken up the outer end of the eye look. And since I also use this in my crease, it's now really easy to blend this around that area since the shade is already there. It's just not really hard because of that. Then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going to apply this above my lash line and create a cat wing. Now that I'm done applying my eyeliner, I'm going to use the The Balm Mr. Right Eye Pencil in Black and I'm going to apply this in my waterline and also um, below my upper lashes to make it extra black and I don't want any skin to show anymore. Then underneath that I'm going to apply a little bit of the Noir eyeshadow using that same brush from Suiva. I'm not sure what the number is but it's just a very tiny shading brush and I'm pressing this right below the black eye pencil. Now to blend out the black eye pencil, I'm going to use the Mulberry eyeshadow using a very tiny pencil brush from Morphe. First I press the eyeshadow right below the black. And then once I have most product on, I'm going to blend my brush back and forth to smudge it into the black eyeshadow so it comes together. Then for my mascara, I used the Benefit Bad Gold Bang Mascara. And I applied my own Anytude Sultry Lashes, which are one of my favorites, especially for a dramatic eye look like this. I will put the name in the description bar together with a discount code. So if you want to purchase any of my lashes, you will get some money off. But yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this will be really sweet and helpful also let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos using this palette and if there are any specific type of eye looks you want me to do with this palette and yeah i really hope you guys are doing well i'm still a little bit sick and late at night i am so tired i don't know what it is maybe it's the time of the year but normally i would like hang with my phone in the bed for like until midnight but lately I'm just so tired and yeah let me know if this is something which is going on everywhere I just feel like it might be the time of the year but yeah let me know in the comments and yeah I hope to see you in my next video bye guys